Are you looking to increase your 3D art speed and efficiency in Blender? Well, today we're going to do just that by switching out our keyboard shortcuts. Coming up. What's up, you guys? So we're going to be switching out our keyboard shortcuts today. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, I'm used to Maya, 3D Studio Max, and Substance Painter and ZBrush for the navigation styles and the shortcuts. I'm not too keen on the default Blender shortcuts in 2.8 right now. Supposedly there's going to be a developer uh, key map that's going to be coming out, but the, a community member over on BlenderArtist.org has created a wonderful key map that will make your workflow more efficient. And now we're going to go check that out. First of all, you'll need to download from the BlenderArtist.org forums and the link is below in the description. Then after opening up Blender, you'll want to go here to Edit, to Preferences, uh, scroll down to Add-ons, and so if you, so you'll click on Install up here. We'll want to navigate to the download, and I have a little shortcut right here. But it'll be in your Downloads folder or wherever you saved it over to add-ons and we'll want to install this LK key map tools so you can double click that to install and now it is right here click on the little checkbox to enable it and now we can go over to the key map and you'll want to click on import and then see this key map Maya that's the one we're going to be using. I have made a few uh, modifications to it, so I have this right here. But click on this key map Maya. If you want 3ds Max style navigation, click on just the normal key map dot py and double click it. Now, if there's anything that says restore, you'll want to click on those buttons. It'll be around this area and save preferences. Now we can close that. And we have alt left mouse for rotating, alt middle mouse for panning, and alt right mouse for zooming. Simple as that. Now it uses uh, number one, two, and three to switch between vertex, edge, and poly mode, which I prefer because that's really close to all your other keyboard shortcuts. You know, most people. At least right hand people have their left hand on the ASDW keys and it's really fast just having your vertex and edge and poly mode for face mode for moving back and forth between your selections. Now uh, Q is going to be selecting and W is you move E for your rotate and R for your scale. Uh, another thing about this, if you didn't know, uh, F2 will give you uh, the X ray mode. And this is a little bit different from Maya for the focusing. It's not F, it is Z. And the reason for that is Z's 3DS Studio, 3 Studio Max, and this was originally a 3DS Max key map, but it is they added some Maya functionality to that. You also got space for your view selection, which is really nice. And you just switch it up and just move to get back in perspective. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and moving over to this key map will really speed up your workflow. They, he's done a really good job for speed and just making sure uh, all of that your commonly used shortcuts are close to each other. There is a Google Doc that he sh has created too that will allow it's right over here and you can see all of the shortcuts and you can search through this 
to figure out where your tools are and what shortcuts are for your tools. If you enjoyed that video, please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and put down in the comments below how I can further help you or maybe some tips that you have for other people in the community. Thanks guys, have an amazing day.